Welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we're going to use our new Byford ML10 lathe and we're going to start making a Damascus ring. Let's go! If you can remember, we bought our new Myford ML10 lathe and uh, we've been tidying up, getting bits and pieces working on it, and it's all in a good position at the moment. What we want to do though is with the Damascus that we made in a video which I'll link up above, um, to show you the, the Damascus, um, what we're thinking of making is Mrs. Dubes and I a Damascus ring. Mini Dubes has been playing with his, haven't you, Mini Dubes? And what he's done, he started to turn his, but I wanted to take us back a couple of steps just to show you um, how we got to this pos position. So um, I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to do, and then we'll get Mini Dubes and I onto the lathe. We're going to turn the Damascus after we've smoothed it um, out a little bit, and then we're going to measure our fingers, and then we're going to make rings, and then put them into the ferric chloride, and actually turn them into rings. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take our Damascus, our block, um, bear in mind our chuck on the lathe is a three um, jaw chuck, if it was four it'd be perfect, it's three. So I'm going to edge over some of these corners on our grinder, which I'll show you in a moment, so the chuck holds it really nicely. Then we'll start turning, probably down to about here somewhere, so we can get two rings out of it. So first things first, let's get onto the grinder, let's grind some of the edges off, and then we'll be nearly up to the same position as mini dues. So over to the grinder. And I'm just going to take a little bit off the edge. Okay, I'll just take the edges off my piece of Damascus. There's obviously a rough end here, um, and then a, a flat end here. I'm going to put the rough end into the, the chuck. And then what I'm going to do, I think it's called turning. I want to, get, I want to turn it so it's circular. I want to do about half of this length, because I want to get two rings out of it. So if I just get a pen, what I'm thinking is a ring will be about, oh, whoops, about that sort of size. So two rings will be about around there. So we'll probably turn it to about here somewhere. So if I put black on it, I should be able to see it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. The face is pretty clear anyway. It's nice and straight on there. So I'm going to try and turn it back to here, make it round, and eventually it'll end up like mini dubses, which is round like this. So I'm going to go from this position to this position. I've bought some new tools for turning and for boring. Um, these are bought on Amazon. I'll do a link down below. Um, I'll just set them on here so you can see them. You come with lots of different cutting heads, I guess you call them. I don't know, like I say, I'm, I'm not a, a metal worker. Um, it also comes with um, a lot of these. Now, each one of these units, these bars, come with a little Allen key as well. So I don't want to lose it. So you get a little Allen key, uh, and you get the actual the tool. They're all different. So this one, whoa, look at that. That's very, very strange. Um, but some of these have got ones for turning. So I'm going to try and find the turning ones. And again, no expert. Um, and then let's get turning, get it into the machine and let's get turning. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to measure my existing wedding ring to get an idea of the uh, diameter or circumference diameter of the ring. So we're going to use our digital calipers and just reset them and then pop them onto my ring. And my ring is 22.3, just redo that just to double check it. 22.3 in diameter and the height is five and a half. So 22.3, just recheck that, 22.3. Now currently the, the piece of Damascus is I think it's about 26. 26. So I've got to take about four mil off there. Um, we want to do that because I want to get a similar size to the ring I'm currently wearing. Um, and then we'll work on the depth in a moment. So uh, I've got to take four mil off. Let's just do that. Digital calipers are great. Okay, we've just finished doing the little lathe. Um, we've got this just over uh, the size of my existing ring. So this is now 23.04 mil. I'm happy with that. Um, first ring, I don't want to adjust it because we know that my existing ring is. 22, so it's about uh, 0.8 mil. Um, uh, my ring's 0.8 mil thinner, so I'm happy to have a little bit thicker. Um, and I'm going to face it off, which, as I understand it, is clearing off this side of the of the of the piece. It's a little bit ridgy, so you can do two on the other side. Watch your cable on the floor. 
there's a little ridge on here. I just want to get rid of that little ridge. I'm going to come across with the lathe that way, and then I'm going to drill and bore into it to make the hole. But let me quickly face it off on that side, um, make that nice and smooth. Um, yeah, let's do that now. Okay, now that we have drilled in, we're going to use a boring rod, which looks like this, and it's circular. We're going to put it into the lathe, and we're going to go in and bore that hole out. The hole is currently about 20... is... 12.2. Now, we know that an S is about 18 and a half, so we've got to take about 6 uh, mil out of the inside of that. So we've got to bore 6 mil off. Okay, we just cut it off. Um, this is what the ring looks like now. We need to put it on the uh, mandrel and sand the edges, but that is the Damascus ring. Um, we're gonna sand it, then we'll put it in ferric chloride, see what it looks like, and then we'll finish the ring up. There we go, it's lovely and light though, really, really light. So this is the ring mandrel that I purchased. Um, I got it from uh, Ring Supplies. Um, I'll do a description, a link down to the description. What it allows you to do is to take your ring Put it onto the end, it's quite difficult to do it one handed, and then uh, expand it so that ring stays on it. So I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to sand the edges so it's all nice and clean. And I'm going to put this into the lathe. Let me do that. So I just put the ring onto uh, the chuck. I just got to tighten this up so it expands. So the ring's on there nice and tight. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some sandpaper and I'm just going to sand it lightly. I'm just going to do that side as well. Yeah. Gutted! I just overexpanded the mandrel and I broke it in half! No! All that work! Do you know what I'll do though? I'm going to put it in ferric chloride just to see what it would look like. So we've got some more. Luckily, luckily we've got the rest of this so we can still make another one. Oh dear, that's not good. So I'm going to put this in a ferric chloride to see what it would have looked like, and then I'm going to pass over to Mini Doobs to do his. So anyway, a bit of a failure, but I am going to make another one, and what I'll do, I won't record all of the process because you've seen it, I'll just show you the end result at the end of this video. So guys, as promised, we managed to cut another ring. Um, different day, of course. Um, but what I'll do, I'll show you that ring now. Um, it was fun, we followed exactly the same process, and we managed to finish the uh, Damascus ring. Let's me, let, let me show you. So as you can see, it's a final ring. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll just hold it up so you can see. So you can see the, uh, the colors of it. It's absolutely stunning. The lines on it are beautiful. So it's been put into the ferric chloride. Um, looks stunning, but yeah. A lovely, gorgeous Damascus ring. It's really light. It's really nice. It's lovely. So guys, that's making a Damascus ring using the uh, MyFed ML10 lathe. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. We're at 1,800 subscribers and half a million views. I just can't thank you guys enough. I really do appreciate it. So thank you. Um, if you want any tips, hints, or any questions regarding the, um, the ring, please let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching Debris Day, guys. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Cheers then. Bye.